Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4BMG. A couple of weeks ago, we began comparing the Gable GRA-7350T to the Wolf River Coil. And today it's a head-to-head -head comparison. I wanna clear a couple of things up real quick as we start the video. First of all, I'm a huge Wolf River Coil fan. This antenna will continue to be something that I use on a regular basis. I'm not looking for an alternate because I think this is deficient. It's a compromised vertical antenna. I understand that. I know how to use it and it's very effective. I only chose to look at this alternative because it's smaller and lighter weight. Therefore, I have a couple of extra cubic inches in my go bag if I make a switch. So, love the Wolf River Coil. I'm not moving away from it because I dislike it or it doesn't work well. I have found something that could work better and that's why I'm investigating this. Secondly, when we first introduced the Gable antenna, I read through the instructions rather quickly and I made a mistake. I first talked about this being able to radiate from six meters through 20 and then you had to add that secondary coil to get 40. That is not an accurate statement. When you use the telescoping feature of this base, right about here gets you to 20 meters and right about here gets you to 40 meters. That extra coil gets you on 80. So this is exactly a head-to-head -head comparison with the Wolf River Coil Mini, which is what we have on the table in front of us here now. And the third thing, just before the video completes, I'm gonna have a bonus feature for you for this Gable antenna. I uh, suggest you stick around for that. For those of you who are impatient, I'll go ahead and I'll post up here the approximate time that the bonus feature is going to appear in the video. But there's something else intriguing about this unit that you may be interested in. I'm not gonna take up your time showing you how to use a scale, you already know that. But the weight differences here do matter when we're talking about a go bag that we might be carrying around and we wanna utilize every cubic inch and have minimum weight. The Silver Bullet Mini with the whip weigh in at one pound, 4.5 ounces, and the Gable Coil and whip weigh in at 11.4 ounces. That's about a nine ounce difference between the two with the Gable being less. If we wanna get up to 80 meters, which I have never done with either of these vertical whip antennas, so I cannot speak to performance, but they both claim capability, you would have to move away from the Silver Bullet Mini and you would have to introduce the full-size Silver Bullet. If you wanna move the gable up to 80 meters, you introduce this loading coil. We would expect perhaps this is a little bit more compromised. I don't know that, I haven't proven that out. I will probably someday, but since I never operate on 80 meters, this is not a priority for me at this point. I operate primarily 20 and 40, and I've done the appropriate testing to satisfy me at this point. The full size silver bullet with the whip weigh in at one pound, 12.9 ounces, and the gable with the whip antenna and the 80 meter loading coil weigh in at one pound, two ounces. So that is a little bit more than a 10 ounce difference between the two, again, with the gable being lighter weight. Adding the three legs of the short tripod for the Wolf River Coil and the center hub brings the total weight of the Wolf River Coil system up to two pounds, seven ounces. The gable antenna does not come with a mounting system. Gable does sell this tripod that is incredibly versatile, that is worthy of its own video coming in the future. The gable antenna does require an SO239 connection. If you did purchase the Gable antenna and their tripod, you would come in at two pounds, 2.3 ounces, about five ounces less than the 80 meter Wolf River coil system. Those of you who've been following the channel know that this SO239 doesn't trip me up. I'm already dealing with it on another one of my favorite new ground spikes. It too has an SO239. And I have a whole video on why I like this. I have found an adapter that lets me go from SO239 to the thread size that we need for our MFJ1979 or our Chameleon Antennas SS17 telescoping antennas. With this particular unit, I can also use my Manfrotto uh, tripod and I have come up with a way to adapt to this mount that you can use on any type of picnic table. So this hasn't tripped me up. It's actually given me the ability to become much more creative and adaptable and have a system that's Lego type. I can go in many different directions here. 
And while this isn't the purpose of this video, I most certainly will be talking about this a lot more in the future to show how with minimal gear, I have a tremendous amount of flexibility to erect my antennas out in the field. Based on the QSOs I'm about to show you, here's the spoiler alert. The gable antenna has graduated from the workbench and it's going into one of my kits that I use regularly for portable operations and POTA activations. My only hesitancy in putting it in my emergency go kit is I just haven't used it enough yet. That's the only reason I'm not ready to do that. Everything else about it tells me it's worthy. So I want to operate with it just a little bit longer before I do that. Three QSOs you're going to see, one on 20 meters with Victor Echo 2, November Tango Tango. Mike was kind enough during that QSO to give me signal reports on both my Wolf River coil and my gable antenna. And generally speaking, you're going to hear them operate very consistently, which is exactly what we would expect on two antennas with the same feed line 8.8 .8 feet tall from the ground up to the top of the antenna. Both of them were about at that length. So why would we expect anything different out of two quality antennas? Nonetheless, this is something I wanted to do because I want to make sure that Gable is worthy, and right now I believe it is. There is one time where I'm switching back and forth between the two where I got a little bit of a surprise at a jump on one of the antennas and how strong the signal came through. Hopefully I can get an arrow flashing in my software so you can watch the S-meter on my SDR receive unit. And by the way, if you just keep your eyes, you know, peeled up here in this area of the screen as you're watching my SDR, you'll see the S-reading on both the antennas as I switch back and forth. When I got to 40 meters, the 13 colonies event was still going on, and those were the only QSOs I could make. I wasn't about to ask them to give me a signal report on two competing antennas. Obviously, that would have been inappropriate. So all I did was launch signals from the gable, and quite frankly, breaking through pileups in 13 colonies on that antenna, I'm happy with that. We're setting up for 20 meters first, and I have a pretty good idea of how high up to push the coil to get this resonant. We'll check it with the meter here and then fine tune it. Perfect, we're gonna roll with that. Let's get Wolf River coil set up. I've mentioned to you I'm gonna be making some changes to my radial systems, right? Banana plug. Video coming soon. And uh, this is not a 17 foot whip. This is what came with the uh, Silver Bullet Mini Take It Along, I think was the set. So it's a little shorter. And then I need to make anything up with my coil. Let's get our radials on. We'll tune for 20. Try to get a couple contacts on 20 and then we'll come back out and set up for 40. Do this first, right? Not now. <laughs> 104 to 1. That'll do. When we introduced the gable last week, we went into feed line 3. We're going back into feed line 3 with the gable today. And then feed line two is going to pick up the Wolf River coil. Back to being weather tight. Let's go operate. Frequency here, Victor Echo 2, November Tango Tango. 
Kilo Delta 4 Bravo Mike Golf. Hey, copy the 5-7, Mike, and you're also 5-7 here into Tampa, Florida. I heard you uh, with uh, the prior QSO. I thought I'd stick around and see how you're doing. It's been a little while since we talked. That's the gable antenna. Yeah, well, nice to get you, uh, nice to get you with a stronger signal this time. And uh, what part of Florida are you in there? I'm in the Tampa Bay area. I actually live in a town called Palm Harbor, uh, about uh, four miles actually away from the coast. But uh, if I say Tampa Bay, then everyone kind of gets the general idea. It's the place this time of the year when you walk outside, it's 95 degrees and you sweat by the time you take five steps out the front door. Over. Oh, yeah, that's, that's way too hot. <laughs> uh, well, hot and humid, I guess, both at the same time. Roger that. Hey, would you do me a favor? I'm I'm testing out uh, two antennas. Uh, I am actually operating off of a vertical right now, a portable vertical. It's eight feet, eight inches up off the ground. Uh, it's called a gable antenna. And I heard you talking to a gentleman. I think he was operating off of uh, a Wolf River coil, which I also have up here in the backyard. Could you give me a reading on this antenna we're on right now? This is the gable. Can you switch to the other one real quick? Okay, here we are switched over to the Wolf River coil. It also has a whip that gets me up at about eight feet, eight inches. So it, it's almost identical. I would not expect there to be any significant difference, but uh, I do have a YouTube channel I do some reviews on and I thought, what the heck, put them up in, both in the backyard and see how it sounds. How am I doing on this one? I think it was about a 5.7. There might have been some fading in between, and there's another station almost on this frequency that um, started up talking, so it's uh, it's hard to separate your signal from his <laughs> signal. Uh, go ahead. Are you uh, catch and release, or do you uh, catch them for food? Over. Uh, usually catch and release. I caught a, a nice... Uh, last week, I, I kept that this one. This is Wolf Recoil going over to it Gable was, now. Uh, it was too good to go, I think, and, and it tasted really good. Over. Yeah, copy that. Uh, I I have fished as a as a young boy. I'm not not a young boy anymore. Approaching sixty, uh, and it's odd being this close to uh, the ocean that I haven't been out yet. But my my wife and I walk the local parks here, and every once in a while we talk about uh, buying a fishing rod and getting out there and getting something salt water, which would be new for me. Over. Fishing's a lot of fun, you know. It's uh, well, ca catching is more fun than fishing, though. I, I prefer catching. He's about five or... six. Yeah, yeah. I hear you on that. We we do spend a lot of time at the ocean, walking the beach, and uh, you know, just looking at the seashells, the sand dollars, and that search is uh, as much fun as anything. Now, of course, we're looking at things that that uh, aren't alive anymore, but that search is definitely fun. We're on Wolf of Recoil right now. Oh, yeah, if you're, if you're that close to the beach. He's uh, coming in 5-6 uh, on, on both the yeah, antennas. Sort of walking the beach, beach combing, uh, that, that's a lot of fun. Well, we should be good here on 40 meters in just a short while. So to get our antenna set up from 20 to 40, I'm going to add a second set of radials. And then we're going to adjust our coil. All right, we're shooting for resonance at 7185. Let's see how close we can get on our SWR. Loosen the collar, raise the coil, back away. Okay, we got to 1.24. Stop in there, calling it perfect. Tighten down your uh, polymer nut plastic screw, and then your coil stays in place. We're done operating on 20. Let's see if we can get resonant on 40. We already have the gable antenna set up on 40. Let's do the same on the Wolf River coil. All 
I don't operate very often with my Wolf River coil on 40. So this will be a fun experience tonight. First guess wasn't too bad. <laughs> one, two, two to one. We'll take it. Kilo, Delta Four, Bravo, Mike Golf. Four, Bravo, Mike Golf. Uh, Kilo, Delta Four, uh, Bravo, Mike Golf. Five nine, Massachusetts. Five nine, Tampa, Florida. Did I get it right? Roger, Roger. Five nine, Tampa, Florida. All right, thank you very much. You're in the water. Seventy three, good luck. Seventy three, friend. So there I picked up Kilo 2 Hotel in Massachusetts operating the special event 13 Colony Station. I wasn't there going to ask him to give me a signal report on two alternating antennas. I use my 73 foot NFED on 40 meters in the shack. Rarely, actually never have I operated remote 40 meters on my portable verticals, Wolf River Coil or Gable. But um, it was certainly great to pick him up on my gable antenna. That's telling me at least that it is working. Here's K2G, another 13 colony station. Again, I'm not going to ask for a signal report, but what the heck, let's go after him with the gable antenna. Hello, K2G. Kilo, Delta 4, Bravo, Mike, Golf. Okay, I had a double there. Kilo, Delta 4, Bravo, Mike, give me the last one. Golf, Golf. Roger. Kilo Delta 4 Bravo, Mike Golf. Thank you so much. You're 5'9 Atlanta, Georgia. You're 5'9 Tampa, Florida, 73. Uh, you took a dip on the state. Give me again. Tampa, Florida, Florida. I got it, Florida. Thank you so much for your call. Good evening, K2 Georgia. All right, there we were able to pick up our second 13 colony station here on 40 meters. I may not be able to pick up anyone in a QSO tonight that will be able to give me the signal reports on the competing antennas. But the fact that I could pick up two 13 colony stations on 40 meters in pileups, I'll take it on the gable. And check out this bonus feature on the gable HF antenna. I'm going to key up a local 2 meter repeater. Time is clock not set. Welcome to the KE4EMC repeater. KD4 BMG testing, no response required. And there you have it. So I don't know what more you could ask for. We put this thing to the test. It's graduated to the next level. In my use case, I think this is going to end up in my emergency go bag. I don't know what tests it could fail. We're still going to keep pressing it and trying to make it fail. Right now, it's a go. I hope you found this helpful, friend. I enjoy doing these kinds of videos because this is helpful to me, and I hope it's helpful to you. Talk to you soon. 73.